Will AI will replace software engineers? Everyone can write a software now with the help of AI. AI is eating software engineers' jobs. Here we are, again, with a new hype in the market. You guess it right, it's the first AI software engineer called Devin. The Devin AI is created by a company Cognition and is led by Scott Fu and is capable of performing all the tasks that a real software engineer would do. Let's see the Devin in action. A prompt was given to the Devin to benchmark the LLAMA on three different providers. And here we go, Mr. Devin created a step-by-step -step plan for completing that particular task. After that, it builds the complete project utilizing all the same tools that a real software engineer would use. Devin has its own CMD, its own code editor, and even its own browser. After running this process, Devin encountered an unexpected error. Then to reproduce that error, Devin AI adds print logs to the code and reruns the code with the print statements to figure out how to fix it. Finally, after everything was done, Devin built and deployed the website with full styling and its unique visualizations. Here is the final website. And here is the benchmark of the Devin AI as compared to any other AI release before. After seeing this incredible demo of the Devin AI, the software engineers, especially the freshers and the ones who just think to start their career in software engineering must be scared, right? And this video is especially for them. So starting from its name, the first AI software engineer. It's clear as far as I think it's a very, very good marketing strategy applied to fire up the software engineering industry. And you would have seen no hype in the market if its name was kind of Devin GPT, Auto GPT, Software Engineer GPT, or any other name, prefix, or suffix with the GPT. And let me tell you one more interesting thing about the Auto GPT. The Auto GPT is also capable of performing almost same task as Devin, but it didn't get that much hype. Why? Because it's still a GPT, and people know what a GPT can do from past one and a half year. And the first AI software engineer sounds very different to them, right? And I think this is a very good marketing strategy applied to fire up the software engineering industry and attract the VCs. Because there was a time when the chat GPT was first released on 29 November 2022. We will discuss this in a moment. So coming back to the point of understanding the client and getting the right answer. When it comes to all the AI models that are released into the market so far, in most cases while working with a client, getting the precise work is very tough. Client sometimes does not even know what they require, and which is always ambiguous. They sometimes have no idea what they really want us to solve. So bringing AI to this, totally useless. AI cannot solve every problem that comes ahead. We human software engineers are always required to deal with the intricacies of a problem and come up with the fine ideas to solve it. Because Uber was not an easy problem to solve, neither was Spotify or Zomato. You cannot just prompt an AI like, hey, build me a Spotify or an Uber app. These companies built over the years by working hard, solving different problems one after another, and these problems were not having any solution on hand available at that time no blog post and no documentation and AI without the presence of data cannot help you in solving a problem. Remind the time of the chat GPT new arrival into the market. People show up very much demos like hey I built a complete website using chat GPT, I built a complete app using chat GPT prompts. But where is it now? Why don't people talk about it so much? And now sometimes while using chat GPT 4 and the Google most capable model Gemini Advance, they sometimes give the answer like here is a suggestion do these specific things and you're good to go. Not providing the specific code for how this problem can be solved. So don't worry, everything will clear up when the Devin AI released into the public marketplace and people start utilizing it and we will see what it will result in. By all this, I didn't mean that technology is bad. I'm not bashing it at all. Technology is great, but sometimes it do over promise and does not deliver that much. This is what we have seen from the first arrival of the generative AI model. And in other perspective, AI is great. 
I usually solve my coding related problems using ChatGPT for Gemini Advanced and also other AI models. And I found it super useful for solving my daily coding task so that I don't waste my energy on small tasks and have more time and energy to focus on what matters the most. But still, it sometimes irritates me by not giving me the right answer. And in most cases, I end up saying, save it, I can do it better myself. So in the nutshell, AI tools cannot replace human software engineers, but instead AI tools are very useful for software engineers to enhance their work productivity by solving small problems for them so that they can focus on what matters the most. So dear freshers, go ahead and learn to code with AI. And of course, you need to work a bit harder to clear up or solve the mess that AI is going to make for you. It won't take any jobs or replace anyone. It will stay here with us and will helping us to be more productive in our work. So no software engineers are replacing by any AI. Clear up your mindset and keep learning to code using new technologies and always keep yourself open to new ideas and new technologies that comes into the market. Good luck and I will see you in the next video.